Congratulations, Stalin. <clears throat> Judge DuBose, am I saying your name right? That's correct, Senator. Okay. Um, we don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to be direct. Um, I think most of my questions are designed to be yes or no. Um, are you still a Marxist? Um, thank you for the question, Senator. Um, you don't have to thank me. We'll say um, I'm, I you am, are welcome. Um, I am not, uh, nor have ever been, a Marxist. Well, you gave an interview in 2000 to the feminist press. In fact, you didn't turn it over to us. We had to ask for it. We found it on our own. And you did then turn it over to us. Um, and this is what you, you were describing your time working in a coffee shop. You said, quote, the kids would come into the cafe all the time. We'd talk about what they're doing. We'd talk about their classes. And I was in my Marxist phase. So you used to be a Marxist, but you're not now? Uh, no, Senator, if I may. The context of the first of that interview, um, I had no idea that that interview was something that was going to be published. I did an interview with but, the... But did you mean what you said, whether it was no, published or not, or whether no, we'd find it? No, no, trying to understand what, what you believe. You no, said I was in my Marxist phase. Thank you, you, Senator. still in your Marxist phase, or was that in the past? No, Senator, if I may explain. Sure. Um, I was a political science major. When I graduated from college, I immersed myself in a ton of political theory. I read Hobbes. I read Locke. I read Rousseau. I read Marx. I went through a phase where I was into Eastern religion, where I read the Tao Te Ching, uh, the Analects of Confucius. So I suspect, and I don't know that that quote with the article, um, I don't know if she was referring to what I was studying at the time, but as a political science major and as a theorist and someone who was considering teaching a course in political theory, I had I immersed well, myself but, in those but things. But she didn't refer to anything. She meaning, I assume you're referring to the, to the reporter who interviewed. These are your words. And you didn't say, I'm in my Hobbes phase. You didn't say, second... I'm in my lock phase. I mean, you didn't say I'm in my Russo phase. You said um, I, I'm, I was in my Marxist phase. And my question is real simple. Are you still a Marxist? Uh, Senator, I've never been a Marxist, and I'm not a Marxist today. Okay. All right. Have you ever served as lead counsel in a federal bench trial? Uh, no, Senator. With my experience as both a state prosecutor, as an in-house counsel at Schneider Electric, doing very complex compliance and regulatory work, and my work as a district court sitting judge handling general jurisdiction. Yes, I've, I've read your resume. I, I just want to get through these questions. Have you ever served as lead counsel in a federal jury trial? No, Senator. I have not. Okay. Have you ever attended a federal jury trial? And no, Senator. It live? No, no. No, Senator. Have you ever watched a federal jury trial on TV? Um, I don't believe that federal trials are televised, so no, I have not, Senator. Have you ever watched any trial on television? Uh, Senator, I handle and preside over trials every single day as a state district court judge. We follow the rules of evidence, criminal procedure, civil procedure. Um, so I feel that with my experience that I am well-suited and capable to make the transition from our state district court to our U.S. District Court. Okay. Uh, when you were practicing law, did you ever draft a motion or a brief uh, applying the federal rules of evidence? No, Senator. As a state prosecutor... I'm sorry, I, you said what? I said, I said no, Senator. No, okay. Um, when you were practicing law, did you ever draft a motion or a brief applying the federal rules of civil procedure? Well, I believe that there were times at Schneider Electric giving advice to business units regarding uh, the federal acquisition regu regulations that I would draft briefs to give them counsel as to how to be compliant with the federal rules. So in, in that respect, the answer would be yes. Okay. What's an interpleader action? Interpleader action is a third party who's going to intervene in a, in a civil suit. They're not a primary party. Okay. Um, what's Vaidir? Voir dire is the process with which our jurors are questioned by uh, by the state and Democrat, um, by defense and prosecutors to serve. Have you ever conducted a voir dire in federal court? Uh, not in federal court. Okay. I'm going to yield back six seconds, Mr. Chairman. Thank you.